Today we're going to measure a staple set roller brush in a helical pattern. Always start from the inside out, so that ensures you can't measure anything. You can't miss any measurements, apologise. So, the total length of this core here, 60 centimetres. Going to the inside diameter, which would be, oh, can't get an accurate measurement there, so I'm going to refer to the digital caliper. 38 and a half millimetres. So that's a nominal bore tube, but let's, let's put it for what it is. So 38.5 millimetres ID. The OD of the core. So the outside diameter. ID always referring to inside, OD always referring to outside. 64.31. Again, it's a nominal core. Um, the true measurement is 65 millimetres. Always round up to your, your close or down to your closest. Uh, complete millimetre. From this point onwards we're going to go to the tuft or the hole, the punch hole size. So this is the diameter of the hole that we're measuring here. Um, they always work in, with our machinery it allows half millimetre increments so this could be anything from 3.5 to 12 millimetres. I'm measuring about 6.44 so that says to me it's a 6.5 millimetre tuft hole. And now we'll measure the type and the thickness of the material used. So being uh, an experienced um, you know, brush technician, I, I feel that this is nylon, but there are several other ways to identify what bristle is what. Um, we'll do that in a separate video, but more importantly, we're gonna measure the diameter of the bristle. Again, in millimeters on your digital vernier. So 0.25 of a millimeter, always measure two ways because your bristle is sometimes an oval shape rather than round um, so I'm getting 0.25 both ways which indicates it's a round bristle I'm just going to grab another one to verify that Point two seven by point two five. So it's safe to say that's 0.25 millimetre bristle diameter. Now what we'll do, we'll get our configuration of pattern. So regardless of whether it's helical or not, we're going to count the amount of starting rows. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we've got 8 starting rows. We don't have anything staggered or hidden in between. So it's 8 true rows, single, 8 single rows, helical pattern. Um, the pitch of these, so the distance from the distance from hole to hole, which will determine your, your brush density and, and sometimes your stiffness of the brush, um, can be measured from the true measurement center of one hole to the center of the next hole, um, which can be taken from either the center or the outside of the respective holes. So in this case, I'm measuring. 10.39, 10.4 millimetre pitch. So in that case, I'd round it down to 10. And I'd also even have the true measurement there. Uh, so from this point onwards, we're gonna get an idea of the diameter of the brush. So it's gonna be really hard to, oh, in this case, because you've got even amount of rows, you just measure from there to there, which is your brush OD, outside diameter. I'm going here to here, 145 millimetre brush diameter. So now, the helical part. Um, helical obviously means turn. It could be either a left or a right hand turn. So if you're looking down at this way, I see that the brush is going in a right hand trend. So that means it's a right hand helical turn. If it was left hand, it would be going down that way. Um, to determine how far the turn is, so starting here, how many turns or degrees around the core are we going? So marking my starting point, so the end of the brush is there. So that's the same row, starting at the bottom and finishing at the top. So that's a half turn, or also known as a 180 degrees turn. So there you go, you've got your 180 degree half turn helical brush and how to measure it.